David Crow spoke movingly about the legal cases he'd been helping with, which involve HIV-positive men and women imprisoned for aggravated sexual assault, assault with a deadly weapon, HIV, and first-degree murder. A death that occurs uh, during aggravated sexual assault in Canada is automatic first-degree murder with no evidence of intent. Most harsh of all was Johnson Azika, the only man, to my knowledge, to receive a, a conviction for first-degree murder merely for being HIV positive. Uh, he had a number of girlfriends over the years. Two of them were found to be HIV positive, took AIDS drugs, and died of an acknowledged side effect of uh, ACT, known as non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Luckily, Canada does not have the, have the death penalty, or he might have been the first person executed for being HIV positive. It's, it's very upsetting for me to see people's children being ripped away from them. I've been involved in many such cases. It's very difficult for me to see people being sent to jail for 10, 20 years 